Hi guys, it's Richard from Bagnall and Kirkwood. We've got one for you today on the FX inlet valves on the older type rifles. This valve's used on a lot, lot of different rifles and we're going to do a little run through on what they are. Um, but basically, this is what it looks like. This is off an FX Verminator Mark 1. Um, internally, they're pretty much the same. So I'm just going to crank the top off there. So I've already loosened this one with a bar through there. Take the end off. There's a nut here, which you can just use with a spanner. Again, sometimes these are tight on. This one I know is already quite loose. Just comes off. And inside here, what you're going to find is the nut. Uh, inlet valve spring, these can sometimes get uh, rusty and need to be replaced. And inside here, you're going to find the inlet valve cone. So this one just tapped out sometimes they don't tap out what I tend to do is put that onto the end of your hose hold that down against a piece of carpet blow through your air hose and then that will just pop out onto the floor there so on the end of this valve cone it's available as a complete part if you want or you can just replace this o-ring so we do a pack with the o-ring on here and the o-ring here, we we'll do a double pack of them because it's quite common, probably the most common leak in place on one of these FX's. Uh, so we've got our new o-rings here. And what we're also going to use is a little smidgen of molly coat on there. So to remove the o-ring, I generally use an o-ring pick. It can be quite difficult, sometimes with age these round off. So it looks almost like it's a plastic cone rather than an o-ring. But it is definitely an o-ring that's meant to be on there. So trying not to spike my fingers i kind of just get in there some people have used scalpels and things like that i just always use a pick get it through there and then pull it off usually it'll snap and that's it snapped there i just need to pick it off there we go so the old one the old one gone new one i'm just going to put a tiny little bit of this molly coat on beforehand just a tiny tiny bit on your fingers and again just a tiny bit on the one that's going to go around the body and putting the o-ring on generally point it up and then push your ring on firmly from both sides so that the force is the same that's it there snapped on just check the inside of that valve housing, just make sure there's nothing, no chunks of metal or anything like that one. That one's very clean, don't need to do anything. Drop that one into place. I'm just going to make sure it's lined up kind of straight. Spring in. Nut back on. Just turn that one in. And... Just give it a slight tighten. It doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be really tight. Then we're going to replace that o-ring on the outside. It's always a good idea to replace any o-ring you go past, even if it looks like it's still good. So take the old one, pop the new one on there. All good. And then we're going to screw it back on the end of the cylinder. Tighten that up. Generally, you're going to want to tighten that up again. Put something across there, like a bar or something that's going to be good size, and then make sure it's tight, tight. And that's it. We're on to the next one. Thank you for watching. All the spares are on our website. I'll put a link below, and we'll see you next time.